Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at the electroscope. And the electroscope is a great device for, it can actually be used to measure the amount of charge on something. Uh, however, it's mainly used to just to identify that there is charge on something, and then also to just identify what kind of charge. Is it a positive or is it a negative charge? It's a pretty simple device, uh, and I, I meant to bring the one that I have at school home, but I forgot to bring it home, so I made an electroscope. And all I did to make this was uh, basically aluminum foil and a, and a pin. Uh, essentially what I did was I took a large sheet of aluminum foil, I rolled it over so that it made this flat strip. Uh, it is probably somewhere around 35 or 40 layers thick, so it's nice and sturdy. Um, so that, that way I could make this little cradle. So it comes down and then goes up, and there's a little dip, and then goes back down. And in that little cradle is sitting this guy. So this is an extremely lightweight piece of aluminum foil. This is probably only about two layers thick. Uh, it is slightly off center. The reason why it's slightly off center is you notice that if I spin it, it wants to nat naturally rest in this vertical position. So no matter what I do, this guy will naturally just want to rest so that he is in the vertical position. So when he sits in the cradle like this, he is connected to the, to the rest of the device through the pin because this is all metal all the way through to the pin, down to the bottom here, and up here. So ultimately what will happen is if the electroscope becomes charged, the little uh, electroscope's leaves, that's what these are referred to as the leaves, they'll begin to tilt out because up here these two will have the same charge, they will begin to repel each other, and the little piece of aluminum foil tube goes down to the bottom, and these two guys will also start to feel a repulsive force if the bottom portion of this guy becomes charged. So in order to charge this up, I'm going to use a wool sweater. Oops. I'm going to use a wool sweater and a plastic rod. So this guy will pick up a nice positive, a part, nice negative charge, I should say, uh, when I rub it against there. So first of all, let me just discharge the rod, make sure there's nothing on it. So when I bring this down, there's no reaction to the to the electroscope. So now I'm going to take the uh, piece of fur, a piece of, uh, of uh, wool, and put it to the plastic rod. We're just going to rub it a little bit, and now when I bring it down close to it, you'll see that the electroscope is going to have a reaction. So the electroscope is now reacting a little bit. I haven't charged it because you notice it returns back to its neutral uh, position. Just make sure this guy's in a good spot. Okay, so now let's go ahead and charge the electroscope permanently, and uh, it will lose its charge slowly out over time, but it should hold on to it for a little while. So I'm going to touch the rod to the top. Okay, and hopefully we can get it to hold on to just a slight charge. Uh, I'd say it's not really holding on to the charge great. Uh, but in this case, this guy is negatively charged. Let's see if we can put a little bit more charge on there. So you can see it's really repelling. There's a lot of charge down there at the bottom. Okay, so now I've got this guy charged up a little bit. If I bring the plastic rod back in again, you'll see it repels even further. That's something to think about. Why is that happening? Why does it repel even further? But clearly, this guy has the same charge as the plastic rod because he repels even further when I bring this uh, plastic rod back down there. So that's just charging by conduction. Let me discharge this guy again. Uh, this time, we're going to try a different process. We're going to do charging by induction. In order to do charging by induction, I am going to hold on to the top part right here. I am going to connect to the system. I'm going to allow charge to leave through me. And as a result, we're going to induce a charge indirectly onto the electroscope. So I'm going to charge this guy up really good. I'm going to hold the tip right here. I'm going to bring the plastic rod back in. Now one thing to notice right away is that nothing is happening. There's no effect. It doesn't act like it's charged like it did when I brought it close before. Now when I pull this plastic rod away, the guy is charged. Now watch what happens when I bring the plastic rod back in. He actually draws closer instead of further apart. So this means that he must now have the opposite charge. This must be a positive charge. And when I bring the plastic rod in, I draw that positive charge up, which makes it seem like it's no longer charged anymore. That process is called charging by induction. And that is something that is explained in a video. So make sure that you, after watching this, you go back and revisit that video. And we'll talk about how the charge distribution is moving throughout this device.